Hello everyone again. So we've got um, Nick's six metre offshore eating craft here and um, it's a burger with a lot this one. It's got a fair bit of customising um, in colour wise, in piping, the interior, the seats. Um, Nick's put his own personal touch on this boat as everyone does I suppose with all their eating crafts which is great to see. We've got, a, um, we've got three transducers in this boat starting with the B54 that does your three, 3D um, uh, mapping. We've got the traditional SS175 high and wide and your SS175 low. So Nick's covered all spectrums um, for his fishing. So anything from you know, surface down to four to 600 meters, including 3D mapping. Yeah, he's running all of that through his um, Fruno TZ uh, Touch T3, 16 inch. And also Nick's opted for the um, 300 Yami with Hellmaster X, which is uh, getting a bit of traction lately which is good to see. Beautiful engine, beautiful equipment, and that's teed up with the uh, autopilot running through the uh, Furuno as well. So, beautiful combination. Um, yeah, I'm sure Nick will get a lot of use out of it. Now also, Nick's gonna get into the, um, into the offshore canyon running uh, sword fishing that so many people are getting into these days up at Lakes Entrance, Malakuta, those sort of places. Well, pretty much everyone's doing it from any port around Australia actually these days. But um, he opted for the Fleur. Um, it's something that, that I really like and um, if you're heading out in the dark, places like Lakes Entrance, three, four in the morning, it's a great, it's a great addition to you know, all your equipment where you can see where the rock walls are and yeah, you've got safe navigation basically. We've got a C-Zone digital switching system on this boat. Um, so it's all the rage now. So there's no more switches on the actual dash. What you've got is um, digital switching that comes through your MFD. And um, basically you bring it up and you can have a combination of uh, switches coming on, lights coming on. It can operate everything from deck washers to bilge pumps to lights, whatever you like. Different stages of it. So you don't have to have a full, full blown stage like what Nick's got here, but uh, very nice piece of equipment that um, I can see a lot of boats wanting it in the future. Yeah, basically he's got a group of mates where they're all interested in different things and Nick wants to start doing some, um, some stuff he hasn't done before in terms of fishing, um, your sword fishing, but he's also set up the boat for uh, marlin fishing. So at the back he's chosen to go with two sets of slimy tubes. So he's got four slimy tubes, which is what I like. I've got the same thing on my boat. Um, it allows the anglers at the back to have all sorts of different options when they see marlin at the back of the boat. And you can rotate your slimies through the day as well. Everyone just leaves their slimies, the first slimies in the water for three or four hours. They check them, they're swimming. They think, yep, they're fine. No, rotate your slimies. So two slimy tubes on each side allows you to rotate every 15 to 20 minutes. A little secret there for everyone, but um, a good little hint. It'll, it'll get you catching more marlin. <laughs> What we're seeing these days as well is a lot of these anglers are spending a lot of time on the water and Nick will be one of them. I'll just turn the boat down, down and see a little bit. We've got a little bit of a chop out here today, which is beautiful. The boat performed beautifully actually through it. The more I drive these boats, the more I, I want to own one of these six meters. I love them. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> so we're spending more and more time on the water. Um, and what that means is obviously you want to be comf as comfortable as possible. You want to make the days enjoyable and you don't want people screaming to go back into harbour, um, especially, you know, especially if you're 50, 60, 80 k's offshore. So Nick's opted for the um, Engel fridge powered in the cabin and also his pie oven. Um, so yeah, we'll keep all his mates and his crew very happy throughout the day. Cold drinks, warm food, mate, you can stay out all day. A big congratulations to Nick. He's put together a beautiful boat with some custom touches to it and uh, he's going to get uh, many, many years of enjoyment himself and his mates and um, his family um, and um, can't wait to see the photos of the big fish that are going to be coming on board this boat.